What's up guys, it's Bird back here, and we are jumping back into some Slay the Spire Downfall. So, last time, played as the Slime Boss and got a win. Uh, we unlocked the, uh, the first Ascension level, um, which we will probably try another time. But this time, we are going to jump in with the Guardian. Um, Guardian, 80 HP, 99 souls. A construct of the Spire, programmed to defend it. Able to defend itself from harm on command. Uh, it's starting relic is mode shifter whenever or when you lose 10 HP. Uh, enter defensive mode and gain 10 block, uh, which will not be removed at the start of your next turn. So pretty nifty. I like it. So we're going to jump up in here. So excitedly enough, this is episode 50 of Mod Slay the Spire, which is, might not be a lot, but I think this is probably the longest run series that I've done. We're going to do the uh, Heart's Malice. To get the first three combats for free. Um, but yeah, 50, uh, which I did mislabel last on the last video I put out as 50, but it was 49. So here we are now. Um, there are three elites we can get. We can get the Sapphire Key too. Um, we cannot get any free elites, but we can get a lot of value on this path right here. Get almost right to the elite, um, depending on what the question marks give us a uh, shop on this side but I don't really need an early shop to start with um, that means we'll get less value for like doing damage to the shopkeeper but at the same time I think I'm kind of okay with that to start with because we'll get this rest we'll get a rest down here which we could go ahead and break our first key and then have another rest upgrade I like that so let's get into this here Gonna recall here. Also, and oh, we have enhanced because um, the the way the guardian works, or some of the stuff the guardian has. So we'll get into that a little later. I know a little bit about that one. Uh, the enhancements are for the socket things, or the sockets, as which part of this character. Um, charge core, ten damage. Then place this card into stasis. Uh, so stasis, uh, current stasis uh, gains a turn counter equal to its cost plus one. Each turn it reduces by one at the start of the turn. Whenever it reaches zero, it returns to your hand and costs zero until played. That's pretty cool. So this one deals 10 damage and then you put in stasis. So it would be in stasis for one. So next turn it would come back. When this card counters, uh, effect is triggered when this card's turn counter is reduced. So it would also give you, okay. So the way it'd go would be 10 damage this turn for, for one. Next turn you get to play it again for 10 damage for zero and then get to also get a drawn card. Um, but it'll exhaust at the end of that turn. Pretty good, actually. I really like that. Prismatic Beam, uh, two damage plus two additional damage for each gem in its socket. What does this one upgrade to? Three and three. Okay. Um, and then it has three sockets so we can put gems in it to gain additional effects. Um, so by the end of it, it would be so you had three, it'd be eight damage or 12, and then a bunch of effects. I kind of like that one. Do damage by two for each gem and all your shark cards. That's also really good. I think we're gonna start with Prismatic Beam. I think it'll be useful as we go through. Um, gives us card like gems to be picking up. Um, ooh, early towel, your towel. You found a towel laying on the ground. Um, some would say it's lost. Which you always knew is here. Uh, pick up your trusty towel, you wrap around your art, and continue your climb. I like the towel. Really good additional uh, relics uh, choices. Uh, lose a strike to set a trap. Oh, I should. I need to be reading these ones too. I've been neglecting it, unfortunately. Um, you come across a uh, in inconspicuous. I don't think I read that right. Uh, pedestal with a shining idol. Uh, sitting at, uh, peacefully atop, it looks incredibly valuable. Wandering adventures are certain to be attracted to it and may be worthwhile to set up a trap. Uh, I'll happily lose a strike, because I don't really, uh, that's just like thinning it from our deck. Using the idol's weight to trigger, you bring a simple trick to cause a nearby giant boulder to collapse into the room should anyone try to claim the shining artifact. Set so aside with the construction of your trap, you decide to move on. So I guess you can never really get the golden idol. Uh, on the downfall side, really. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, these ones leave here. 
pretty nice. Um, well, this kind of stinks. Uh, roll attack, no. We kind of wanted a gym here. 14 damage, de de defensive mode, uh, affects all enemies. And socket for one. 18 damage, that's not bad. Time bomb, place this card in stasis. When this card would leave stasis, deal 22 damage to all enemies. And when leaving stasis, exhaust instead of returning to your hand. Oh, so that other card actually wouldn't get to play it a second time. It'd just be 10 damage. It would volatile to exhaust. And then you'd draw the card. So it's actually not as good as I thought it was. 22 damage, 30 damage to all enemies. It's not bad. Like, pretty good. 30 damage effect, uh, strength affects this card three times. It's pretty good. Hmm. I think I'll take Time Bomb. But first, I wanted to... I should have read these cards first. Uh, we had four strikes, four defense, curl up, which enters defensive mode. While in defensive mode, you have three thorns and gain two block when you play a card. Uh, Exus the stance at the start of your next turn. Pretty good. And twin slam. Uh, four damage two times with two sockets. So eight damage for one. I think I'm going to take time bomb. It seems like a good AoE, um, even though it has a little bit of setup. I'm not uh, too upset about that. Gain pick of Rhapsody or uh, gain a random gem. Okay. You step inside the old mine shaft in the rocky crevice. You can see a number of shiny gemstones, emeralds, rubies, topaz, and several others. Uh, look around. You can't seem to locate any mining picks, but the gems are so close to the surface that with some determination, you might be able to pry them from the stone. Gain a uh, pick of Rhapsody. Rhapsody is a, another YouTuber. Really good. Has some really good videos. Uh, also doing downfall. Uh, I'd recommend checking him out. Uh, he's much better than me. Um, in terms of play, but uh, this is for him and the or just mine gain random gym lose six HP. I'm gonna take the pick. I'm not can't remember what it does. Uh, you can now mine for two gems at rest sites. Pretty good. Up to three times, so six total gems. I like it. Ooh, so now lose pick charts to gain a random gem. Uh, you have six one over the old mine. You can now leave this into accomplishment and some sore. Bronze appendages. Uh, I think I'll just lose the 6 HP and keep my charge of the pick. Oh, you can keep doing it. Yeah, okay. So we got to Quartz, draw a card. Uh, emerald, one temporary. Uh, we'll do one more. Amethyst. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll settle for that right now. Amethyst is all enemies lose through two strength this turn. So the next rest we have, which happens to be next, uh, we can socket some gems. Peril or Curious Feather. Um, whenever you play a power gain one strength, we don't have any powers yet. Uh, no one is dropping additional card reward. Could be good to get more gems, I think. Or we could just take the sapphire key. I'm not really, like, excited of either of these two. Um, this one could be good. These both could be good. I think I'll take the sapphire key, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, though. Um, because we have the pick. I think I'd rather, um, this mine form. We have that ability. Oh, look at all these. Okay, free action, free action, enhance, which is also a free action. Um, let's enhance first to make sure we get this. Um, let's do draw a card and prismatic beam. Okay, we will do the lose two strength in the prismatic beam. And then I'm actually going to put the one temporary dex in the twin slime. Okay, we still can go. Uh, let's gain the 10 max HP. Okay, we can't do the other one, and then we will... I think we'll go ahead and upgrade the Prismatic Beam. Mining would have been good, because I guess we could have then just turned around and enhanced again. But I'm not too upset about that. And he leaves also. Another free fight. Ooh, another Emerald, Construction Form, or Piercing High. Uh, we've seen this one. Jim, gain one temporary dex. Um, gain five blocks and two temporary thorns. Enter defensive mode. It's not bad. Um, prevent the next time, three times you lose HP during your next two turns, you cannot play attacks. I don't think that's really what we want right now. I think I want Piercing Hide, A and three, uh, just as a defensive option since we really haven't picked up anything. Okay. Nice, play the Time Bombs, really good. Oh, so it, it's two plus one, okay. Um, do I really want to go ahead and hit them? So we draw a card, they'd lose two strength this turn. But they won't be hitting us this turn. But it doesn't exhaust, so we'd get in for 
nine damage plus, well, only one more strike. I think I'll wait. I'd rather get the clock down on the time bomb. Okay, temporary dex. Go again. Okay, yeah, prismatic beam, single strike. I think this is the turn because this will go off next turn. So we'll go ahead and play that. Piercing hide was not necessary. I'll go ahead and play it just to do it. And then, yeah, we lose the three thorns. Okay. So 18 damage. This does not... Yeah, it does not affect our... Uh, the Our damage we do. So that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and do this. Gain the temporary dex. And we'll go ahead and play another defensive card. And it's right. So a little bit of block here. Not too bad. He'll take some more damage from hitting us. All right, Prismatic Beam. Oh, I should have called up first. That was my bad. But we'll gain a little bit of benefit there. Hit him a couple more times. All right, he's going to try to lower our strength, which is not good. I really want to hit him if I can. Uh, unfortunately, we did not draw any more attacks. Okay, Prismatic Beam is doing less damage, unfortunately. But we're also getting... Uh, I'm playing these out of order, too. Uh, I should just continue to hit him. I'm going to take a little bit more here, but a little necessary. Uh, okay, strike. Strike. All right, cool. Out of that fight. Anchor or the boot, I think I'd be super happy with anchor just to do more damage. However, this would raise the damage of our prismatic beam by two. So it would do at full power 20 for one. I'm actually pretty okay with that. Take that boot. Cause I'd be happy to take another one. Piercing hide, vent steam, vulnerability would be really good. I think I'll take the vent steam. All right, let's go here. Um, let's go ahead and mine up two gems. Aqua two that I had to aqua mean and another quartz. So quest reward is another three block. I think that'd be really good in the piercing hide quartz. Just draw a card. Very good. All right, another elite here. Grandma Knob. Hi, how you doing? Um, this does not exhaust, which kind of stinks. Now let's go ahead and draw a card. Not the best, but that's fine. Go ahead and hit him a bunch. All right, we do have this uh, speed potion if we need it. Oh, another bad turn. Okay, um, let's do this. Vulnerability. Hit him. Hopefully next turn we will have a little bit more damage online. Yeah, prismatic beam and the bomb. Okay. Very good. Hit him again. Oh, I can't play the bomb now. Unfortunate. Whew, he's still on 24 here. I could curl up and defend. Let's go ahead and drink this. Curl up here. Defend. Gets us 12. So. Should have played it a little early. 33 here. That's kind of uh. A little aggressive, don't you think? So eight plus six. No, it's not enough. Thirty-three. He can kill us. Well, we are in defensive mode, so we should be gaining more block. Let's go ahead and hit him with this, okay? And then we want to. We got the temporary dex. The problem is, this would be so much strength for him. More thorns. If I hit him with this, five. If I do this, he'll kill himself. So we'll do that. Okay. Well, pretty close. Like, we're down to nine, which kind of sucks. Um, Matroshka, uh, the next two boss relics uh, you open contain two. Pretty good. I like that. Especially with the towel, we'll have a lot of options. Ooh, Onyx, gain one artifacting. Really good. We can stack up decks. All right, then each turn while in defensive mode. No, I think the Onyx is what we want. Oh, after this fight, we'll decide if we want to go for the Crystal Elite. We might end up skipping it, um, just because how low our health is. We're at nine. Oh yeah, and this one's not going to be very fun for us, I don't think. Do this. Uh, go ahead and defend. Up to seven. Can I kill one? I can do a pretty good bit to one of you. I think I can kill this one here. Yeah. And they all get negative two, so we're fully protected. Let's hit this guy in the back. Okay. Pretty good here. 
Okay. My AoE would be in Time Bomb. However, I don't think I really want to wait that long to get it off. Getting the one artifacting. Or the one artifact. Uh, I can kill the back one, so I need to block for eight, which I can't really do. Uh, okay. I'll do that. Kill the backliner. Uh, we will take three. Ouch. Uh, draw a card here. Gain a block. Yeah, we are not doing too hot here. Like, we can block very well, but we're not putting out enough damage. We need some more damage cards here. Alright, um, curl up first. Hit you. Uh, strike you. Okay. Not too bad. And one strike to finish it. Dex potion. Guardian world. Must be in defense mode. Exit defense mode. Deal damage. Forty with all I missed now. In stasis. Uh, like it's good. Seven block. And another seven next turn. And you can just like repeat that. Well in two turns. I think the Aquamarine is going to be better overall. I think I will skip the Elite. <laughs> 24. Sharp for We'll gain the Broken Wing. Um, wing Statue. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate, large blue statue resembling a wing. You notice glittering coins spilling from the crack, but it has no value to you. Uh, the statue itself, however, uh, we will collect the Broken Wing Statue. So, the... We'll be interested in this. Hmm. Uh, knowing that you may encounter cultists of the Wicked One, uh, you take the broken statue with you and may prov prove useful uh, to turn the cult members to your cause. Okay. That is totally fine with me. Hello, you. You look like you're not gonna be fun. Um, oh, this hand's not great. Uh, draw a card here. Well, I mean, we can block plenty. These crystal wards really need to be socketed. They're taking up a lot of our draw. Okay. Uh, curl up. Twin slam. Vent steam. Defend. Just enough. Okay. Uh, piercing hide. Prismatic beam. Plenty of damage there. And then defend. 11 here. We should, yeah. Be able to do it. Okay. Amethyst is really good. Uh, eight block and one thorn to enter defensive mode. It's not bad. Does it go down to one? It doesn't. Twelve block. Which persists for one turn. I think another a amethyst. Okay. Oh, we don't get another rest before going into this. Yeah, I don't know if we'll make it through here. I think we will not. Curl up. Aquamarine. Crystal Ward. Strike. 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 Uh, just enough damage. Okay. Oh, look how much, look how much damage he's doing. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's figure out what the most useful things to be able to do is. I think I will drink this deck potion. Because I don't think we'll get out without it. Um, lose two strength here. Prismatic beam here. Artifacting, pretty good. Uh, I will go ahead and play the defend. Cause sorry, I had some I had to take care of. My phone was going nuts. Um, one energy, I can do damage or vulnerability. He's still doing thirteen. I think we're still gonna die here sometime. Um, but I think I will go with the damage. I should have played this first, I guess, if I was going to play it. Um, but we get to keep the decks. So. It's always nice. Oh, yep, we're dead. <laughs> we will do a, another run real quick. Oh, we unlocked Hexagos. We are going to do another for the... Uh, what's the name I'm looking for? For the Guardian. Jump right back in here. We had to do lot two last time for the um, slime boss anyway, so not too upset. And we get a, a uh, actual uh, card reward this time. So remove one card from your deck, obtain two 
random, uh, three random potions. Or obtain a curse, transform two cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> I think our starting relic's really good, actually. Defensive against a block. And I feel like the boss relics have a chance of being bad. Transform two cards could be interesting. Cards could be really bad. Do we have a early shot, maybe? We do right here. Is that the path we would take, though? Oh, that has two shops back to back, actually. That'd be kind of kind of gross. Okay, we have up to two elites we can fight. If we go, like, diagonally across. Oh, there's two chances. We can do this one or this one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Think there's so many shops. I think what we'll do. Well, we'd have to do shops. I think actually, here down to one shop or here. Because uh, oh, I don't really want well two shops right here might not be too bad, and then this maybe. This is the weird one. If I go this way, early question mark. Shop, and then a bunch of fights. I could do these two, but there's a lot of question marks here like one, two, three, four, five, six. If I avoid all elites, I could do six question marks and two shop. That's kind of nice. I think I'm going to try it, see how it does for us. Uh, I'm going to do obtain a curse. We got sloth. Oh, that. That's one I gotta kill. And we'll do one strike, one defend to transform. And we got Ancient Construct at the, uh, at the start of your turn. If you have no artifact, gain one artifact. And then... Oh, gosh. We got Orb Beam. In the station. For drop high, in the station. Deal five damage, gain five block, exhaust. In eight. That's weird. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad. So, uh, but Ancient Construct, I really like. That's going to be a good one. Game one artifact. Because uh, that'll synergize really well with a bunch of the socketed cards that you lose uh, strength. Or you uh, gain strength, but lose a, like temporary strength. I can't word very good today. Um, uh, you gain seven. Eh. But it's just like so like free. <laughs> uh, I think I'll do Ancient Construct to start with, though. It sounds pretty powerful. We don't have like a engine quite yet for it, but I think we can get it pretty easily. Uh, or beam, boom, and we put a strike in there, so that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and defend once. We'll hit the back one. Um, I can't kill either one of you. I could have killed one, I guess. Should have been the correct move, but we're only taking one damage. Um, this one's not that fun. And we're slothful, so luckily we'll get the strike back this turn. If not, that'd have been really annoying. Okay, emerald. So we could gain one dex almost. Multi beam fire damage to all enemies. X times by beam cards. Want this combat? It's definitely interesting. Uh, eight to all enemies. Uh, na, 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 na. So it's made to be in a stasis beam hybrid deck. Currently, I have no way to get it into stasis. So I think I'm going to take the emerald um, just as a good optimistic pick. It goes really well with construction form. So it's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, we'll do that to start with. Or beam. Boom. We put sloth in there. That's fine. So we won't have that till next turn, which is kind of actually going to suck. Now, yep, Sloth. Okay, I think I do want Ancient Construct to go ahead and play. And then I think I will take the six. Sorry about the car going through. Oh, I didn't have to autoplay it because I it was put into my hand instead of drawn. At the same time, why? Like, I had to draw it again. Uh, okay. 
Emerald. Strike. Okay. Got another. Yep, we got another artifacting. Emerald again. Kind of nice. Um, curl up. Strike. Strike. Okay. Not too bad. Crystal Beam Repulsor. Exhaust your first stasis or curse drawn each turn. That's kind of nice. Da -da -da. Mm, crystal Beam. Increase for, uh, by two for every gym in all of your soccer cards. Eh. Copy. Stasis. Stasis. In the stasis. Okay. I don't really like any of these. The first status or curse card. Like, Repulsor would be the closest. And it can be innate. So. But at the same time, none of these really, like, feel useful. Like, in the terms of what I need. Oh, fight some potions. Cool. Proceed. And we're going to this, like, five question mark path. Here. Yeah, so we do have to go through two shops. Hello, shopkeep. Ooh, ancient construct. That's fine. I really just want to hit you a bunch. Okay, emerald. Temporary dex. Defend, defend, strike. We, of course, drawn slothful. Uh, I guess play the top three cards when we, like, if we're going to get our butts kicked. Um, we're not going to be able to do almost any damage, though, because of that. Yep, just going to take our souls. Emerald, and he's going to run away. Got 19 damage in. But we'll be able to. Uh, barely, but we will be able to remove it here. Walker Claw. Maybe. Accelerate. Incinerate to accelerate. So it moves up the stasis counter by one. Okay. I think I'll go with Walker Claw. It's some damage. Um, we're hopefully going to be getting stuff to add strength. Uh, it's going to be the goal. Uh, Spiker Protocol. Gain three throwings while in defensive mode. Enter defensive mode. For two turns, block is not removed. At the start of your turn, gain 15 block. Okay. Piercing hide, sentry. We've seen this one. Sentry beam. Place a sentry wave into stasis. Draw a Okay. I kind of like this. I kind of like both of these, actually. Um, but I think I get the prismatic beam. I am going to remove sloth, though, because it's going to be annoying. And then I can't get anything. I'm one, one uh, soul short. Unfortunately. All right, we're going to enhance the emerald. I think in the twin slam. It shouldn't actually matter either way. We'll do twin slam. And then we will smith. I want to smith the walker claw. Optimistic picks. And then we are going to go this way. Open this. The courier. Your stocks and all prices reduced by twenty percent. Nice. I like that it's purple too. It's like adds a like, like, little bit of a downfall um, characteristic to it. All right, back to the shop. Hi. You're going to hurt me probably. Uh, defend in there. Perfectly fine. All right, deal a little bit of damage. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, I kind of want the block. Actually, you know what? Distill Chaos. Defense mode, strike, strike. We'll play this just to have it. And then we'll twin slam for damage. Got to keep one point of dex. It's going to hurt still out. But the thorns are going to be really, really nice. Um, twin slam, strike, strike. I just kind of want to just continue to hit him. So still down to 17. Walker claw, twin slam. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Uh, but we, we, we did a fair amount of damage that time. Okay, Spherical Shield. Block. We've seen that one. Enter Defensive Mode. While in Defensive Mode, reroute. The next non-exhaustive attack or skill you played this turn into Stasis. Deal 9 damage. 12 damage. I'll go with reroute. Sure. Sounds interesting enough. Can't buy anything. Sapphire. Gain Defensive Mode. Or Enter Defensive Mode. That's kind of cool. There's like a gym defensive build. I fight. I didn't want you, but I'm here. Alright, so I want to reroute. 
Let's defend, defend, I guess. Kind of how that would go. So I put the defend up into stasis. And then we're just going to walk a claw and then defend them. And then we'll curl up just to do it. And I think we got this now. Strike, strike. Yep. Not bad. Brew of sharpness. Gain 25 counter. That's pretty cool. I think this is specifically to... Oh, who's his name? Second floor blo uh, boss. The uh, giant... Uh, I can't think of his name. He's the night guy. I didn't mean to discard that. But okay. My brain was like, click it. Oh, how do I unclick? Discard. Of course. Amethyst. Prismatic beam. Prismatic beam keeps coming up. I think I might, might take it just for damage, because I feel like we're, again, a little lower on the damage scale. Horn Cleat, second turn, gain 14 block. Pretty good, I like it. So we're gonna, I, we're gonna continue here, avoid the elites. Oh, this is a weird one. I think we're going to, let's see what Orb Beam does first. I put a strike in there, reroute, the strike back, with my beam. Not a lot of block this turn, but it's fine. I think we can break them this turn. Curl up, Walker Claw, Twin Slam. I feel like this is my combo. I get those two together a lot. All right, strike, strike for free. Um, nine damage, so we'll kill this one. Reroute, 16, the Walker Claw. So that guarantees that we kill him next turn. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't put it to the top of the deck. It puts it up into stasis. My bad, but it's still fine. Four damage. We still kill him. 20 souls. Fear potion. That's fine. Ooh, here we go. Garnet, one vulnerable to all enemy. One temporary strength. That's what we want. We want rubies. Recover. Gain five all case card from your disco pile into stasis. It's not bad. Gain 100 free souls. Sure. Uh, Golden Isle, you come across a... Accessible with a shining plan top of incredibly viable body of an adventurer lays a short distance down the hall clearly crushed by a massive object The souls still linger in the area. So since we set a trap last time now we can harvest the souls from the idol That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a pretty cool um, Little little thing to do uh, We're gonna gain the pick of Rhapsody again, and then we're gonna gain a couple gems quartz ruby emerald We'll do one more aquamarine leave <laughs> Oh, we don't get the rest. <laughs> Ooh, blood shop. Well, that was kind of dumb on our end. Uh, I can't take anything here because it'll be very bad for us. Um, but I forgot these were in this mod. I think anything here we're too sad about. Want to do some relic rouge from? Change about 50%. Lose 100 souls. Maybe kill all non elite, non boss enemies. Yeah. Nothing I'm too sad that we're not getting. But it's cool to see it. I forgot this uh, shopkeeper is here. Luckily, we don't have to fight him. I had been kind of sad about that. Okay. War beam. Um, defend, defend, crystal ward. Okay. Uh, no reason to play the ruby. What I'm mostly sad about is the fact that we don't have um, uh, another rest before the boss. Because I want to socket some stuff. Be very good for us. Um, well, this one's going to not feel very good. Uh, gain temporary dex. So, twin slam first. Uh, reroute. Defend. Oh, we're at 20. We had horn cleat. I could have just hit him for damage. That's my bad. Okay. Oh. Uh, curl up. Ancient Construct, Ruby, hit him. That's, I think, the best we could. I guess, I mean, if, without playing a potion, the best I could have blocked. All right, we're going to start gaining. Uh, let's do... We have a zero defense. Temporary Strength, Defense, Strike, uh, Quartz, Ruby... Uh, emerald defend. 11, we got enough there. So now we should gain an artifacting. Curl up. I'm trying to like min max this one. I don't really need to. And defend. 
I think we're we're scaling past them. Yep. We're getting just like dex and strength like periodically. Game one temporary thorns. That's kind of nice too. Uh, I think this is gonna be good. Well, the weakness is kind of good. But the tourneline. I think I'll take this in the Tribune. The weakness could be very handy here. Okay. Nine damage coming in. Or bean. Okay. Ancient Construct. Kind of sucks that's going to take a few turns. Because I'd really like the damage now. However, I'm not going to really complain that much. And I can't play Walker Claw. Which I don't think I would have anyway. Um, we're good. We're going to take Vulnerability, but we're good. All right, we got 14 this time. Got to keep that in mind. Uh, 20 kind of sucks. Go ahead and do this. Put that puts it in stasis for next turn. Um, I need to do this. I think Aquamarine. All right, I just don't want to take damage from the Wild Strike, but we are good. Okay, uh, one more turn so before we can start scaling. Weakness here is really good. Reroute. Um, the Ruby, actually, I think. Gain the Dex. Gain the Dex. Defend. Seven. Ooh. It's gonna hurt still. Yep, down to two. Okay. Ancient Construct. It's really good. He is just blocking this turn, which is odd. Um, temporary Strength. Um, I want to do Prismatic Beam, I think. Reroute, Twim Slam. Okay. And curl up for the fun of it. Oh, but he's hurting us this turn. I can already feel it. Oh, yeah. Right there. 20 damage. Will kill us unless I can really, like, do very well. Okay. Weakened him. I wish I could curl up. That would have been the best. Um, and he's in flaming first, so I think we're dead. But let's do this correctly. We're going to quartz first, emerald, um, ruby, aquamarine, crystal, defend, defend. Yeah, we're dead. No way. Not a two. Yeah, because that goes up. Oh, we're not dead. That seems odd. But I'm not going to question. Century Beam. Okay. Um, Emerald. Twin Slam. Um, 20 damage coming in. I'm just going to block for what I can. And hit him. But I still think we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're dead. Pretty fun, though. This character's going to take some getting used to. We probably could have negated a little bit of damage, but he still had like 80 health. I don't think we would have got through him. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy if you did, you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.